So this is a prime example that uh, reason why people should not drink and drive. Work to repair a local skate park has begun after a DUI suspect caused some serious damage with her car. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dennis Valera. Alex Hahn and Stephanie are off today. A suspected DUI driver causes thousands of dollars worth of damage to a popular Clovis Park. Police say a woman crashed through Rotary Skate Park early this morning. AJ Cotto is there live with a live look at the impact made. Now, AJ, the city says it's going to take weeks to fix. Well, Dennis, they have a temporary fence up right now, as you can see, but they do say it's going to take a couple weeks to get a permanent one up and take a look. You can still see the tire marks where that car jumped the curb and plowed into it. A trail of destruction after a suspected DUI driver crashes through Rotary Skate Park, closing it down Friday. A uh, pickup truck had uh, driven over the curb into the uh, rod iron fencing. Officer Mark Bradford with the Clovis Police Department made the arrest. He says 22-year-old Corey McCool of Clovis was behind the wheel, headed northbound on Villa around 2 a.m. when she jumped the curb and turned right into the park. She was uh, placed in custody. She was cooperative. She was transported to Clovis Community Hospital. Uh, where I continued my DUI investigation. A breathalyzer revealed McCool was nearly twice the legal limit. Amy Hance, the city's general services manager, estimates the damages to the park at about $10,000. It's been open since 2005, and we have thousands of kids that come every year and enjoy it. Rotary is the city's only skate park. Our facility maintenance crew came in, cleaned it up. It's going to be several weeks before we get a new fence in and get everything back to normal. Bradford says this is the suspect's first offense. She was cited on two counts of DUI. This is a prime example that uh, reason why people should not drink and drive. Um, this could have been worse if this was a daytime uh, intoxicated driver because there's kids there skateboarding. And we did learn today that they will be able to reopen this skate park tomorrow. But again, full repairs are going to take a few weeks. Reporting live in Clovis, AJ Cotto, KC24, Local News That Matters.